evening, good evening everybody. Welcome, welcome. We actually just made it home here in Key Largo. Yeah. We, we went by Auntie Sheila today and she made some delicious uh, chicken curry and bhaji and dal and rice. It was so good. She actually gave us some to bring. So look, we are heating up our dal here. And mommy gonna make a little bit chota or dosa roti, Guyanese style chota. We're also making some tea and I'll be making some Guyanese eggs because we want something a little light. You know, we just got home. We're a little hungry, but we had so much food by Auntie um, Sheila. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what we're doing here. We're, um, so this is the, the dal heating up. They'll be so good with the dosa roti. Dal and chota, that's it nice. Oh gosh, yeah, mommy, dal and chota. So I just want to show you, I want the tea get going because I want the drawers. So I have some ginger here that I'm going to put inside and also some mint leaf. See, I have some mint leaf. So I'm going to put that in here. And um, I'm also going to be putting in some turmeric. And this is, um, uh, I exercise my knee and so on today. So I'm putting in all these good things for your knees for in, for inflammation ginger and turmeric is really good for if you have inflammation in your knee or if you have um what is the thing called again arthritis, arthritis. it's so good let me tell you i'm a firm believer in this tea and mm -hmm. uh, mommy too right yeah. because we both have arthritis in our knees and in our joints and because the little things like this we do that helps us with it i'm also going to put a little bit of cinnamon in here for a little bit of sweetness so I don't have to add sugar and let me tell you I like a little bit of clove too at night uh, for relaxation so I'll put some of that in here so check out the tea guys and this is tea for for us to drink with our chota and fry egg and dal so mommy gonna show you how she do the Guyanese chota and, um, and while that's sitting I'll show you how I'm doing the egg I'm gonna put the egg inside what if you want, then I could put the egg, but I just put the egg inside and then I'm going to add some sugar to make it sweet. Then I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder. Hey Johnny, shoes. Hello everybody, would you like, when you're cooking up an And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Little touch. Good. I heard you cooking an egg. Oh, right here, this one, this one. Use this one. What is it? An egg? Yeah. I got you some oregano and some thyme. Oh, look, John, John, um, he got some oregano and thyme to put in the egg. Fresh from the garden. Yeah? So you mix up and this is how we do it. This in Guyana is poor man, especially breakfast time, morning time. Oh God, when them parents, water. when them parents hurry and so, like for them go to school and so, quick thing, chota and water. Oh gosh, we love chota. We used to eat it all the time growing up. My mom does quick, quick, and then as soon as, as she bakes it, she put butter in it, we're eating it. So hot, hot will have it. That and Sara Roti, oh my gosh. Look guys, look at the dal. Look how nice the dal is looking. And this is Auntie Sheila dal. Look at a nice rimari ri pepper. I have some video I'll be showing you later about the meal today. Um, but this is dal that we have now to go drink some. Whoa, it looks so good, like rich. Yeah, right? Like Johnny loves it. Like miso soup. Everybody so, check out these delicious passion fruit. The wrinklier they are, the better they are. So you know what you get when you go to the store or if you're picking them fresh. It's sweeter, right? A little yes. sweeter and more um, potent. Yeah. Okay. So look, look, this is how mommy mix that up. It looks nice, eh? Yeah. She's a pro. Yeah. Mm. So she's going to let it sit a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Look, smile again. You're proud of yourself. <laughs> she likes chota. She likes chota. Chota and dal is nice too. Mm -hmm. Sandy, they're saying they remember the old days. Oh, so I have some nice, look at a nice purple shallot or scallions that we have here. And I also have some purple and um, onions. I'm going to cut up this baby Oops. for the little egg, you know. Just a little shallot. I'm going to put, just put some shallot and um some pepper in it 
so that's good we're just frying up a couple and put some pepper now not too much pepper you burn my stomach overnight and put a piece of marie look i'm keeping these here for seeds so i will just take out the skin the skin part to um cook with Auntie Sheila also gave us some, um, some, um, what do you call it thing? Some seeds today, so we'll be planting up some. I'll put this in here, let me turn on the stove. She gave a lot of seed. She gave me so bit, much seed, bit. I always get my seed, a lot of seeds turn from her. <coughs> the dal is boiling back. Oh, the dal looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the dal is going to be nice. I know you're going to want the dal, and it's not so spicy or anything. So what I'm going to do now, John, put a little bit of oregano and thyme in there. I'm going to just um, break the egg and start beat that up with some salt. Just some regular fried eggs. All I'm putting is some shallot and some onions and some salt. So let me put in some salt one time. And then uh, let's beat that. Oh yeah, let me turn it on. You ready to cook it? Yeah. Okay guys, so look, the tea is finished. I'm gonna just turn it off. I'm not gonna let it boil, boil, boil. As soon as it comes to the forest boil, I just turn it off. Um, yeah, so where is the lid for it? Let me see. Cover that on the heat. I just, I mean, we just turn this pan to make the roti. But let me show you. You can put little onion, you can put tomato and all that stuff in here. But I just want it clean. I just want something clean right now. Just a little pepper and shallot. So I'm just going to beat up this because I will, I will cook up the shallot and the onions first. And then put it on top so you caramelize it so it's not so sharp on my stomach at night time. Look. That way we just fry egg back home. Back home we throw in the onion and we pepper right in there. Yeah. Okay, I'll put a little bit, but mm -hmm. oh man, this is so good, so simple and so delicious. Look, I'm gonna put in some shallot and the pepper in here to saute you up a little bit and make it a little bit. I want a lot of onions in it, but I want to saute it. Like I said, I don't want it to um burn your stomach you know so I'll lay saute up there a little bit and mommy start to make for uh chota rice chota chota bai chota bai hey boy you're making some chota or do star roti and fry egg simple simple stuff today mm -hmm. we get some dal and we also have some baji mine gonna be end i like mine a little thinner Tinner it is for me better she guys. She's very since troublesome for you. Mommy, remember what, what since did you say? She, she saw troublesome for each moderation. I'm going to bake the last two, the tin tin and brown brown. Quipsy. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it last. That's why I said I want it last. Because I like to do it brown and then I turn it over and put more butter on it. Then I turn it over and put more butter on it until it, like, it's, so t it's nice and thin and a little crunchy but not crispy. But nice like, you know how? Over and over, I like it. <laughs> From little, right? <laughs> That's how I like it. Troublesome. <laughs> Moderation. <laughs> when you take your food, why not when you sit down with her? When you enjoy your food, I don't like to rush my food, little by little, especially when it's good. I take my time. I'm always the last one to eat and yeah. finished. Well, she and got when she done, she got some, and she's got money, can sit down with yeah, yeah, she. <laughs> then do a sit down with my chair. And you tell the whole story with John Daddy, I think. Oh, so Sandy wouldn't finish her meal and she sat there and pouted yeah, pouted for an hour plus to you make her eat her meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just I love food so when I eat good food it, I'm always the last one. I take forever. I'm she does. Oh. She takes little, little mouse bites out of everything. Even Look at this. She'll take a little mouse bite out of some chocolate. So it's good with grandma. And then so good. Nice, nice. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And look, you see how this is now nice and salty? 
So now I'm going to put the rest of the, the, the eggs. And this is our quick meal. Thank you all. Thank you as you're getting on. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing. We're sending our love and energy. Uh, mommy is here in the house. And I'm going to just drizzle this over. He just came home. Making a quick dinner here. It's like an egg omelet for all my international friends. It's like an egg omelet. You see this now? If you get sour up, you throw it. You know them, um, them American children like. Uh, oh yeah, the sour up, sour yeah. pancake and sour up. <laughs> this is called a gold right here. What is it called? Sour up or is um, it maple syrup? Maple syrup, yeah. That's a mommy's meaning. <laughs> So this could be looking like a pancake, like an egg pancake when it's finished too. And over here, it smells like a fried balanchi. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. That's why I like to put a little shallow. Well, I'll hold this. Hand. Show the camera what that is. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Everybody know this is a bilimbi, also known as a sawari or the one finger. Well, John made an amazing preserve with it. So I made a sugar syrup with it, which the sugar extracts the sh moisture and re it. This is what it looks like. It has a really sour um, candy-like taste, like you're eating a sour um, this candy syrup, like gushers. And, um, I'm gonna make my own fruit gushers with this. And the candied um, balimbi up on the top Tastes absolutely g delicious, just like candy. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You gotta give Grandma. Let her try one. Let Grandma try it. No, no, no. Later, later. It's just one piece. It's one piece. Okay. We take a one. We got a stomach, you know. No, no. Okay. What is? It's nothing. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's sweet. Yeah. Mm. But it's actually in, good. In, in a and he said you would have been sour for some No, but it, it's preserving things. Oh, gosh, I better turn my pan. Here you go. But wait, Johnny, I got to turn this one just a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, so look. Let me turn this egg too. Look, look how nice it's going to look. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It tastes good, I think. I right? thought it would be sour. No, that's why I know. This is how you preserve fruit and you have it. Me tell Johnny, Lord, me, make me go. We just get a lot of oh, that and do it. Mm -hmm. You know what it is like? Mm -hmm. Like um, gooseberry jam, but with this. Mm -hmm. So good, Johnny. Delicious. Delicious. Well, so what is there? In the water? No here. No water at all. Just sugar and the moisture of the Guys, fruit. look how good this is looking. And this egg is finished. Guy, me style eggs. Sandy, no, this is more for me. Where you gotta go? To lower, oh, it's too hot. Mm -hmm. But look at this, guys. Look at this egg. Oh, my God. Oh, you gotta help me. Somebody's shooting that. Here, let me make that one, and we can leave that, and we can make again tomorrow. Let me turn this off, Tommy. So, um. Uh, this got too thick for you. That's not my leg is still. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to have to make them. No, that's good. That's good. I'm going to do this. Oh, look, guys. This is finished. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I want to take it off from the heat. Are you sure it's thin enough, Mom? I'm going to take it off from the heat. Hey, Johnny, put this outside for us, too. Thank you, Dad. We keep our shells of our um, eggs. To put in the garden. Just to know. So our, our mo uh, you're creating a, a mulch, a compost bin. Compost bin. For the garden. For the garden. I got to make this thin for Sandy. No, no, I, you don't have to stand here and do this. You, you, see, make it thing. You look, yeah, here, let me put a little, look, I'm putting a little extra butter on it. And this is um some nice, um some of you like this butter. This is the Irish, the Irish butter. Yeah. So I heat up there and I'll turn this, but look how nice the egg. Mommy, go take some food, now take some food. Yes, And show everybody. All right. So I'm putting this on a lower heat. So uh, this is this will be my dessert. So I keep putting a little bit more butter on it, you know, not too much more like this here, and just let it cook on a slow heat to make it a little bit more like tacky or. Tell them how many neighbors you share our food out with. Oh, guys, I'm always sharing food. 
She'll share the whole neighborhood. Same with, same with me. When I make a dessert and don't want them to know, I'll give it to all the aunties and the uncles in the neighborhood. Before I get home, before we get home, he feeds everybody. He go make the whole time we're going, he making stuff. And the kitchen is clean and done before. When we're going and talking to them, they're telling us all the things. Oh no, John brought this, brought that, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look, 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 mommy's taking out some dal. Mommy, read dal and chew that. You want some of the baji to put in it? No, you no, want a piece of the egg. Here. Break your egg, break your egg there, mommy. It's like a pizza here, Would you like a glass, yeah, yeah. One glass bowl? No, that's okay. Nothing good. All that food's for you? Yeah. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Mommy, eat your food, you know, Mommy, eat your She's smiling. And show them your chota, Mommy. Hold up to where your chota. Look how nice the chota is looking. Whoa. Come down, Isn't guys. Is it a chota mix up? Johnny, eat some. If you want to put some butter on it, Johnny, put it some butter while can it's hot. Can I make hot. a little chota for myself? Look, right here. What you got here? Okay. You can mix even anything else you want. Chota, like a dessert chota for you guys real quickly. Done it, done it already. Okay. And awesome. look, my thing is slowly cooking, guys. Slowly cooking. It's almost done. Let me get my curry. Or get my eggs. I'm also going to get some eggs and then I'll eat some of it. And then I'll eat some dal with some of it. But look how good it's looking. I want this how is the egg, mommy? Oh, sure. Mommy, how is the egg? Good, good? Taste good. Right, thank you all. Thank you for joining us. Simple fried eggs, or it's more like a, a egg omelet with some onion, garlic, and some pepper and some salt. Basic, basic. You can add tomatoes to it. You can add cheese to it. And all these delicious things. Cheese and, would work very well, guys. Oh, yeah. Cheese would be good. Yeah. So I'm going to take half of my roti to eat with this, and then I'll eat, drink some dal in a little bit. I want to make this plain. And I also have some bhaji. I want to eat some of this bhaji. Tomorrow we'll be cooking up some bhaji, some dal and rice, and fry banga mary and some bhaji. So I'll put some of my bhaji in there. Thank you, Auntie Sheila. We have some videos. We'll be showing you um, eating some, uh, eating Auntie Sheila made us, we went and spent some of, so like the afternoon with Auntie Sheila and Uncle Pumpkin. And it was so good. It's like going to Guyana. It's like little Guyana here in Florida. She has all the fruit trees. Right, Mommy? We enjoy going by there, right? We love going there. And she made dal and rice bhaji from her garden. And she gave us some of the bhaji too. And, um, and uh, uh, curry. And we had a good time. Mommy danced up a little bit. And I will show you guys those videos. <laughs> So this is finished, well, look, you see how I like mine? Look, look, it's a little like, you know, harder and so on. That's how I like mine. Okay, this is good. So good, man, I love it. I love it like this way. This is how I like it. And you know, the regular way is this way, guys. You guys know this way. I love you guys, stay amazing. We're gonna eat something hot, hot. I want some of the dal John loves and Tommy love to drink. Stay amazing, everybody, and mm -hmm. have a fantastic, fantastic day. What do you need, John?